Today I'm going to be taking a look at a very interesting microphone. Now the dialogue track for this video is actually recorded with this microphone. This is the Shure Realistic Microphone and you, some of you may be surprised to know that Shure did make microphones for Realistic back in the 90s. Now the model number of this microphone is 33-984 and it was made in Mexico. Now I found the 1994 Radio Shack catalog with this item listed. And as you can see, it sold for about $60 in 1994. I bought mine brand new in 1995, and I've had it ever since. It came with an XLR cable, a mic stand adapter, and a storage pouch. And as you can see on the microphone itself, there is an on-off switch, and you do have the option to change the impedance of the microphone. Now, I read that these mics were made by Shure for Radio Shack, and some people seem to think that they were of slightly lower quality components and didn't really meet the standards that Shure themselves had for their microphones. I'm not sure how accurate or how true this is. I've also heard people refer to this microphone as a low-grade Shure SM57. Now, I've used that mic in the past, and I can say that this mic isn't nearly as good, although it is decent. As you can see in the photos, uh, mine is fairly beat up. Uh, I used to use this microphone for live gigs when I performed all over Eastern Canada. And I will say it is definitely rugged. It's been dropped many, many times, but the darn thing still works. And I like using this microphone live. It has a punchy, punky quality that works well live and complements my bassy voice. However, I did not find this was a good microphone for recording. As you can tell from this recording that I'm making right now with this microphone, it definitely has a very mid-rangey, narrow, and almost a slightly tinny sound. Not terrible, but not great either. In my opinion, this is a great mic for jamming with friends. I could see a high school rock band using this for jams in their basement or garage. It's also a very durable mic that stands up to the rigors of touring. But for recording, I would look for something a little higher quality. Now I do see these microphones pop up online and in secondhand stores, and they usually sell somewhere between $20 to $40. I definitely wouldn't pay more than $40 for this mic, although I do think between $20 and $40 is definitely a fair price. Again, overall, I don't feel this is a mic for the studio, but I do think it's a good, informal, all-purpose microphone for basement jams. It definitely has its uses. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you can join us again next time. And please, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I post new tech reviews every week, and the best way to stay on top of all the latest reviews is to subscribe. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.